Hello friends and welcome to virtual story time at the Chippewa River District Library. Let's sing the hello song, shall we? Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Welcome to story time at the library. This week we are talking all about chickens one of my favorite barnyard animals. I've got the perfect chicken story time book to tell you. It's right over here. This is Chicken Story Time by Sandy Asher. Let's open it up and take a look. Story time at the library. <gasps> look at this, friends. The chicken is going to the public library. It's a story time at the library. That's what we're having right now is a story time. And they say, Tails to tails. Don't forget to read to your dog. What a coincidence. Our summer reading theme this year is Tails and Tails. And I'm reading, I'm wearing my little Tails and Tails t-shirt. Oh my goodness. This chicken knows her story times. Story time at the library. Look, everybody's going to the library for story time. It looks like the chicken's gonna go too. Have you ever seen a chicken at story time? I do this for a living and I don't think I have. One librarian, one story, children, and a chicken? Oh my goodness, look how surprised everybody is to see the chicken crawl through the window. The children like the chicken. The chicken likes the children. Let's begin says the librarian, and everyone loves story time. Oh, I love story time too. Look, she's sitting in a chair just like my chair. She's reading to children just like you. The only thing different is the chicken. One week later, story time at the library. Do you see the chicken? Oh my goodness. I see more chickens. How many chickens do you see in this picture? One, two, three, four, five? One librarian, one story, more children, more chickens. Oh my goodness, how many chickens do you see here? So many chickens. What do you think will happen at the end of this book? Hmm. To find out whether you're a human person or a chicken, you can check this book out from the library. I'll put a link below so you can get the information on checking out Chicken Storytime from the Chippewa River District Library. Okay, time to sing a song about chickens. If you're a chicken and you know it, flap your wings. Can you flap your wings like this? If you're a chicken and you know it, flap your wings, flap, flap. If you're a chicken and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're a chicken and you know it, flap your wings, flap, flap. If you're a chicken and you know it, scratch your feet. Can you scratch your feet? If you're a chicken and you know it, scratch your feet, scratch, scratch. If you're a chicken and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're a chicken and you know it, scratch your feet. If you're a chicken and you know it, peck your food, peck, peck. If you're a chicken and you know it, peck your food, peck, peck. If you're a chicken and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're a chicken and you know it, peck your food, peck, peck. If you're a chicken and you know it, settle in your nest. If you're a chicken and you know it, settle in your nest. If you're a chicken and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're a chicken and you know it, settle in your nest. Good job, friends. Thank you for doing that song with me. Another one of my favorite chicken tales is called Is Everyone Ready for Fun? by Jan Thomas. And as you can see on the cover, it has one, two, three cows and a chicken. Let's find out what happens. Look, it's chicken sofa. Plop. Is everyone ready for fun? 
by Jane Thomas. The chicken doesn't look ready. He doesn't look happy that the three cows are sitting on his sofa. It's time to jump up and down, up and down. Let's all jump up and down on chicken's sofa. Chicken does not look happy about this. I don't think Chicken wants those cows to be jumping up and down on his sofa. What do you think? Wait a minute! There is no jumping on my sofa. Uh, okay, Chicken. We won't jump on your sofa anymore. Is everyone ready for more fun? More fun? It's time to dance back and forth, back and forth. Let's all dance back and forth on chicken sofa. Oh my goodness, chicken is not happy about this. What are you doing now? You said not to jump on your sofa. We weren't jumping. Do you think that's what chicken meant? Is everyone ready for even more fun? No more fun, says Chicken. Oh my goodness, they've jumped and they've danced. What else will they do on Chicken's sofa? You can check this book out from the library to find out what happens. And if Chicken ever stops them from sitting and jumping and dancing on the sofa. Five eggs and five eggs, that makes 10. And sitting on top, is the mother hen. Crackle, crackle, crackle. And what do I see? 10 fluffy chicks as yellow as can be. Let's try that one one more time. Five eggs and five eggs, that makes 10. And sitting on top is the mother hen. Crackle, crackle, crackle. And what do I see? 10 fluffy chicks as yellow as can be. Okay, it's time to write. Today I have marked the word out in dashes so that we can practice connecting those dashes to make a word. Let's start with this capital letter. It's an E. Hmm. Next we've got our lowercase circle. And then a curved line that goes below the bottom line here. It's a G. Let's connect our next letter. Another G. E, G, G. E, G, egg. That's the perfect word for today because eggs come from chickens. Friends. One of my favorite things about chickens is the chicken jokes, right? Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. It is the ultimate silly joke. So I would like to take you on an adventure with me. We're gonna tell some of my coworkers, my friends here at the library, some silly chicken jokes. And we'll find out if they think my jokes are funny or if they think they're just grown were worthy terrible dad jokes. Let's go. Hey Lisa, did you hear about the chicken that only laid eggs in the winter? No. She was no spring chicken. <laughs> That's a good one. Did you hear about the chicken who wanted to join a band? I didn't. He already had the drumsticks. <laughs> <laughs> Ariel, do you know why the chicken crossed the road twice? I do not. He was a double crosser. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> what day of the week do chickens hate the most? I don't know, what day? Friday. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> hey Corinne, what happens when you a chicken lays an egg on top of a barn? I have no clue. <laughs> you get an egg roll. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> hey Corey. Yeah? Why is it so easy for chickens to talk? Why? Because talk is cheap. <laughs> hey, Carlin, what did the chicken say to get across the busy street? I don't know. What did the chicken say? 
Egg, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tina. How does a chicken send a letter? I don't know. How? In a envelope. <laughs> don't you think my humor is impeccable? <laughs> Well, friends, we have reached the end of our story time, and unfortunately, it's time to say goodbye. Let's sing the goodbye song together. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. We'll see you soon.